Hi all, I have an interesting game uh, submitted to the Leela Chess Forums for Games Commenting by PW31. And actually he's also mentioned different categories of games. We generally look at Hack Attack. Uh, he's got a book of master games by style. Hack Attack is like one of the primary styles. Then there's Positional Victory, Triumph of the Defense, Victory on the Other Side, Brawl, and the art of the end game. So usually we, we cover hack attacks. So if you like defensive stuff, this game is for you today. Might be a bit long winded <laughs> if after the defense uh, happens, you know, end games and stuff. But let's have a look at this game. Okay. And he, he questions Will Leela become master in all categories of playing style? So Stockfish was playing white against Leela ID 518. The book moves given d4 knight f6 c4 knight c6 any other details i'll put in the pinned comment of this video like hardware and time controls okay so knight f3 was played by stockfish and we have e6 e3 d5 a3 d takes c4 quite often here g6 is played instead according to chess based live book but d takes c4 and bishop d6, this is often a mechanism for playing for e5 later by taking on c4. e5 is, is more possible usually, basically, to liberate the c8 bishop. <clears throat> and bishop b5 discourages e5 clearly at the moment. Bishop d7, knight c3, a6. Bishop going back, now this does encourage e5 here. So opening up this bishop in particular. d5, knight e7, e4 h6 we have bishop e3 c6 hitting knight center d takes bishop takes queen d2 knight g6 not worried about any potential sacrifice on h6 which is something i'm usually tempted to do uh so we have rook fd1 but here after queen e7 in fact stockfish 8 does play bishop takes h6 now, if Stockfish 8 played this against us, I think we would be a little bit worried because it would be kind of calculated all the way through, one would think. Uh, so G takes, Queen takes. The immediate concern was one of them is Knight G5. Now, this is addressed with Knight H7, you, you know, controlling G5. Now, there's another concern pinning f7 about queen takes g6 check that's addressed with queen f6 just to put it on the board just to show you that pawn's pinned something to be wary of so queen f6 so keeping an eye on both g5 and g6 here knight h4 now this is getting really interesting <laughs> because you might be tempted just to take that off actually king h8 was played now one of the reasons it seems here there's actually rook takes d6 believe it or not and even this position white ends up having to lose another piece because of that pin pawn knight g6 rook g6 check and if knight takes g2 this is just better for white so interestingly uh king h8 might be one of the better defenses here but now things get nasty knight f5 hitting d6 rook and knight and also look at the g7 square Bishop d7, oh, c7, and now a really nasty attacking move is played. Rook d7, so a masterful attacker. Rook d7, infiltration. Uh, the calm bishop b8 is played here. On bishop takes d7, then bang, knight d5, and the queen's lured away from g7. For example, here, queen g7, checkmate. And if this is a queen sack, it's not a very good one with bishop d8. Uh, what would be in the driving seat with a big advantage so cautious bishop b8 can white break through here or not rook ad1 controlling the d file basically knight f4 is played offering exchange of queens but now brutal queen takes f8 queen sack so white is sacrificed so far a bishop and now uh getting uh, a queen sack in so what's the material balance here well in this position after rook takes f7 black's choices are actually very limited because uh, this is actually forking queen and knight here so if if we did queen g6 losing f8 is not good news funny enough because then there's like rook d after and this rook's not helping 
So it's very, very limited here, the defensive resources uh, after this rook takes f7. It's, and leader countersacks the queen. So bishop takes. So interesting events. Difficult to keep track of material imbalances for sure. Uh, let's just count the pieces. One, two, three, four minor pieces. White's down a, a minor piece and there's a rook each. Four, five, six on pawns, three on pawns. White's up three pawns. Bishop c7 is played, g3, the knight goes back to e6, h4, rook d8, parrying the d-file, exchange of rooks. This simplifies. King g2, what's the situation here? Can white actually break through with these pawns later? b5, f3, knight d4 is played, bishop d5, bishop d7, knight takes, e takes, knight d1, knight e6, knight f2, knight c5, f4 knight a4 knight d3 protecting uh, b2 b4 interesting move uh, so there's possibilities of bishop b5 here we have knight e5 now uh, things get really interesting instead of moving the bishop leader plays knight takes b2 trying to get very dangerous past pawns white plays a takes b4 believing it yeah if knight takes d7 b takes a3 this position is actually this very long sequence shows this as the fictional game sequence shows that uh, black is fine if takes then d2 queening uh, this position is going to be really good this continuation is going to be really good for black this kind of thing uh, so yeah uh, it's it is actually uh, a situation where yeah taking looks too dangerous uh, so a takes b4 bishop e8 king f3 bishop c7 knight c4 we have knight d3 e5 and these pawns look menacing but here black's getting a past a pawn now in this ending and black is a piece up at the moment so what is white actually doing with the pawns okay so king c3 here knight a6 we have bishop d5 knight c5 and yeah there's a bit of interesting technique going on here a4 that a pawn is definitely a big danger to white and causes white to sort of move the pawns a bit too quickly maybe d2 we have f6 bishop f8 are the pawns have launching with a crushing effect here well at this critical moment before g5 g6 and that's looking really horrible guess what leader plays in this position well actually yeah i think it might be in a time trouble blunder actually g4 in a way black just plays bishop takes g4 of course because the knight is tied down to defending d1 king c3 d1 yeah this is now just two pieces up it's it's kind of technique from here these pawns are not going anywhere they're stopped in their tracks yep and it's just a matter of technique really pawns are falling now Leela has got a winning position and the right color bishop for the queening square so we'll just show this quickly this continuation to the death Peter shows the games to the death so checkmate it actually was I believe a fairly fast bullet time control <laughs> but engines can play really well at bullet so it was 42 seconds with 0.2 second increment per move None, nonetheless uh, the attacking sequence there would have maybe collapsed most human defensive players at least it, it seems like a really vicious attack uh, so well defended by Leela and winning the end game so again stockfish eight none uh, no less uh, which Lila has always had trouble with but if you follow the Lila forums at the moment it seems the results of Lila are getting much more solid against Stockfish 8 so that's a pretty high version of Stockfish it's really impressive stuff I think Lila will be in good shape for TC TSEC 14 in two to three months time okay comments questions like shares appreciated thanks so much